although it's primarily relied upon for creating motion titles and graphics in 3D space, Avid's marquee can also make quick work of still graphics and titles. One example of this is the creation of lower third graphics. Oftentimes, editors are asked to create multiple lower third titles for a project, with all the titles having a common look, just different text information. Marquee comes with pre-built templates for a number of graphic styles, including lower thirds. You can certainly use any of these just by double-clicking them, but we're going to create our own using Marquee's text and shape tools. We've been given a text file with a list of all the titles needed to be created for our project. That'll come in very handy after we create the look of our title. To begin creating our template, we'll use the text tool to identify where we want our title to go, along with the font we'll use. To give the title some depth, we can go to the Shadow Properties tab and turn on Shadows for our font and then soften it up a little bit. Since our title will have two lines, we want to use the Rectangular Shape tool to add a line below our title name. This time, we'll use the Surface Properties tab to change the color to blue and to enable lighting for this shape. Marquee has multiple light sources that can be animated to help your title pop a little better. Finally, we'll use the text tool again to add another line of text to the graphic. We'll also tweak the kerning to expand the spacing to this line of text, as well as add the same shadow properties that we did for the first line. Looking closely at the Layers window, we can see the three different objects representing our title. In fact, we can reorder these to better reflect how our title is laid out. It has no bearing on how the title is layered. This is a key difference between the Marquee timeline and Media Composers. In Marquee, how objects are composited has to do with where they are in 3D space of the overall scene, as opposed to how they're layered in the timeline. Before we start using the Auto Titler feature, we need to use the Info Properties tab to number the text objects accordingly. Each text box must retain the same text box name, followed by sequential numbers starting with one. We'll select the first text box in our title and add a number one to its name. Next, we'll select the other text box and add a two. These numbers will tell the Auto Titler feature how to place the credits found in our text file into the template we created. Even though our title has only two lines of text, you can create templates to support as many lines of text as you like. Under the File menu, we'll select the Auto Titler and point it toward our text file. The text file needs to be saved as a plain text file to work successfully. This operation takes place very quickly. To review any of the titles, select them from the Window menu. Once we're happy with the titles, we can just save them to our Media Composer bin. Using Auto Titler is a great way to accelerate your graphics workload and just one of the many cool things to be found inside the Marquee Title Tool.